a woman invests a total of $20,000 in two accounts, one paying 5% and the other paying 8% simple interest per year. Her annual interest is $1,180. How much does she invest at each rate? Now, why does she put some of her money at 5% and some at 8%? I don't know. I just know how to do the math. Well, maybe the 8% was a little riskier. I don't know. But let's do the math. Now, this problem is a little bit easier because we are using systems of equations. So, I can have two variables, an X and a Y. But, if you have two variables, you have to have two facts, two equations, in order to solve for them. Well, let's define our variables first. So I'm going to let x equal the money that she is going to put at the 5% rate, and y is going to equal the money that she will put at the 8% rate. So I need two equations. Well, I know that the total money that she has is $20,000. So the money at the first place plus the money at the second place will equal her total investment of $20,000. Now she gets interest off of these. Simple interest, they just mean interest is equal to the principal, how much money do you put there, times the rate, times the time. And they're just talking about her interest here. And it says her annual interest, so her time will just be one year, and that times one, I really don't have to worry about it. So my interest at each place is the money I put there times the rate. How much interest will I get? So my second equation is the money at 5%. 5% is 0 0.05. 5% times my principal at that bank or that investment. 8% times the money I put at the second place. So 8% is 0 0.08 times y. That is my interest, the interest of my first place plus the interest of my second place. And it says the annual interest is 1,180. So the interest at my first place plus my second place should be 1,180. Now I could deal with these decimals. I do like to get rid of them. I'm going to multiply the second equation, all of the second equation, by 100. Remember, I can do that as long as I do it to both sides. But make sure whatever you do, you do it to both sides. It's not your birthday. Okay, let's carry on. I will rewrite the first equation. I want to keep my system together. The second equation, I'm multiplying everything times 100. 100 times 0 0.05 is just 5x plus 100 times 0 0.08 is 8y and 100 times 1,180. I will just add two zeros onto that. So that'd be 118,000. Now, do y'all want to solve by substitution or elimination? Your choice. Well, not really, because I'm doing the video. But on your paper, you could do it either way you'd like to. You could solve for y and type this into your calculator. You could actually even use matrices to solve this in your calculator. For this problem, I will solve this by elimination. I am going to eliminate the x's. The second x is 5x. I'm going to make my first one a negative 5x. Can I do that? As long as I multiply the entire equation by negative 5. Okay, so I have 6,000. I'm going to go back to my first equation. x plus y equals 20,000. I know y is 6,000. I will plug that in. Solve for x, I will subtract 6,000 from both sides, and x will equal 14,000. I have both of my variables now. And remember, x was the money at 
and Y was the money she invested at 8%. So we now know she invested $14,000 at 5% and $6,000 at 8%.